Hey, welcome to another anti-debugging series video. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at a very simple anti-debugging check, and that is check remote debugger present. This function works just like is debugger present, except you have the option of specifying a handle to a different process. But there's nothing that says that it has to be a different process. We can actually feed a handle to our own process to this function, and it'll work just like is debugger present. Let's take a look at how it's implemented. In antidbg.cpp in this project, we'll take a look here and we use two Windows API calls. The first one, get current process, which will give us a handle to our current process, the one that's running. And then we'll feed that to check remote debugger present. And if this returns a value of true inside of the found variable, which we pass to this, the address of it, uh, then we're going to alert. If it returns zero, then we know we're not being debugged. And we'll go ahead and build this for 64. And let's build it for 32 as well. So let's go ahead and test this out just by running it so we didn't get caught because we're not under a debugger. Run this under a debugger and caught by check remote debugger present. Check to make sure this works OK in 32 bit. Uh, I will run to main, step in, and we'll see the call to get current process, which will give us the handle. And then we'll see the call to check remote debugger present. Now, the value that's being returned is just going to be a success or fail. Um, it's not going to be the actual value that tells us whether or not uh, the debugger was found. So I can come here. We can decrement that to zero and run and we'll still be caught. So you have to make sure that when you're trying to patch out this particular call, that we're not patching out the return address of that function or the return value of check remote debugger present, which we really want to patch out is the value here, which is going to be on the stack at this location. So EBP minus eight is going to be the location of where we want to patch. So we can go here to zero, and we're going to be comparing that against zero to see if we've made it. So uh, that, go, that pretty much sums it up for check remote debugger present. Um, a very simple call, but it's just something that you can consider perhaps uh, having an application that spawns off a parallel process. That process can then pull the process that you care about to see whether or not it's being debugged and may be able to get caught that way. There's some creativity that you can wrap up into a check like this. Um, but until next time, happy debugging.